welcome to bindu's math class in this class i would like to explain you about zero dimensional figures one dimensional figures two dimensional figures and three dimensional figures let us starts with the zero dimensional figures so zero dimension means no dimension what is a no dimensional figure a point is a no dimensional figure so here is a definition for zero dimension figures dot is zero dimensional figure as it is a fixed point on a plane surface it does not have any dimensions so that the next one is about the 1d figures what are 1d figures only one direction what is that dimension that has only length so one dimensional figures have only length those types of figures are called one dimensional figures let us have some examples of 1d figures first one is a line a line that has no end points or lines does not has any initial point and end points the second one is a line segment a line segment is a part of a line it has two end points third one is a ray a ray is a part of a line that has an initial point but not an end point the next one about the 2d shapes here the two dimensions are length and breadth the definition of 2d figures are a shape of a figure that has a length and a breadth is called a 2d figure let us have some examples rectangle circle square triangle quadrilateral and pentagon look into these shapes where you can see the shape of a squares here is a dice blackboard ice cube window bread and carrom board are the examples of a squares here are the examples of uh, rectangles where we can see on the doors track basket carry bag and cardboards next one is about the triangle you can see the triangle shape on a body cap ice cream cones cheese mountains nachos sandwiches etc next one is a circle you can see your mama have kept one sticker no that is in a step shape of a circle bangle is in the shape of a circle ball is in the shape of a circle coin shape of a circle like that here are the examples for a circle where you can see in your daily life now coming to the properties of 2d shapes what are the properties here are the three properties those are vertices sides and diagonals coming to the square a square has four vertices four sides and two diagonals here what is a vertex a vertex is a point where at least two sides of a figure meet is called a vertex what is a diagonal a diagonal is a line segment that passes through passes through the two opposite vertices so here it has four vertices four sides and two diagonals coming to the rectangle so here what is a rectangle a rectangle is a shape where the two opposite sides are equal so that here you can see the sides upside and downside the two sides the two edges are equal but here taking as a square a square has all the sides are equal but whereas coming to the rectangle rectangle has two opposite sides are equal now coming to the triangle a triangle has three sides three vertices and no diagonals as a di triangle does not have the corners where we can join the opposite vertices coming to the circle circle does not have any vertices sides and diagonals because circle does not have any sides so that it does not have any vertices then it does not have any diagonals coming to the 2d shapes and the properties here i gave you some 2d shapes also the properties let us have a look circle triangle rectangle oval rhombus square pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon 
and trapezoid. Next one is about the 3D shapes. Here are the some examples given rectangular prism, sphere, cone, cylinder, pyramid and cube. These are all the examples of 3D shapes. Coming to the next one is about the definition. What is the definition? 3D figures are the shapes can be defined as a solid figure or object or a shape that has three dimensions such as length, breadth and height. Here are the properties of 3D shapes. What are the properties of 3D shapes? Faces, edges and vertices. Now let us have some look into the properties of the different 3D shapes. The first one is a cube. A cube has six flat faces those all are 2D shapes. So here we have six faces, eight vertices and twelve edges. Coming to the cuboid, a cuboid has six faces, eight vertices and twelve edges. Coming to the cone, two faces, one edge and one vertex because cone is a combination of two 2D shapes. One is a triangle and then one is a circle. So it has two faces. One is a triangular face and another one is a circular face. So where is the edge? Where these two faces join together, there will it become a edge. So that it is called edge. Next one is about cylinder. A cylinder also the combination of two 2D shapes one is a circle and another one is a rectangle so here what are the faces two circles one rectangle are the faces and here it has two edges one is on the top and another one is at the bottom it does not have any vertices as it does not have any sides coming to the sphere what is a sphere a sphere is for the example of a ball so ball does not have any vertices as it does not have any sides so that it has only one face that is a circular face it has only one edge that is on the outer of the sphere now coming to the properties of 3d shapes first one is about the cone a cone has two faces one edge one vertex next one is a sphere a one face one edge zero vertices the third one is tetrahedron it has four faces six edges four vertices and the fourth one is cuboid cuboid has six faces 12 edges eight vertices coming to the cylinder it has three faces two edges and zero vertices the next one is about a cube as i told you cube has six faces 12 edges and eight vertices the next one is about the triangular prism a triangular prism has five faces nine edges six vertices the last one is about a square based pyramid so it has five faces eight edges and five vertices thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe then comment in the given link thank you everybody